Hello again YouTube, it's Tom from T-Dubs and in this video I'm going to be covering this trim panel um, in a leatherette uh, material I picked it up from um, just a fabric shop actually to be fair. It's not very stretchy uh, so it might be quite tough but we'll see how we get on. Uh, this trim itself is off the bottom of my rock and roll bed. Um, I'm currently making a pull-out drawer system um, front or inside and back but I'm starting with the front um, so I'm just going to have a go at uh, covering this um, so I'm going to get started and hopefully show you guys the process uh, hopefully you enjoy and you're willing to give it a go yourself <laughs> So uh, what I've done is I've flipped the, uh, and the board over so it's now backwards um, but the way when it's stuck, the way I want it to face in the van. Um, so what you're going to need to do this process uh, is a decent pair of scissors because uh, you're going to be able to trim uh, the leather right up and some adhesive. Um, this trim fix adhesive uh, is what I came with my carpet lining kit um, and I've got a little bit left. So I'm just going to use that. Hopefully um, it will stick. I can't see why not. Um, so we'll see how we get on. So what I'm actually going to try and do to this trim is to double layer it. Um, so I'm just going to literally draw around um, this piece of wood. Um, just do that quick for you. Then I'm going to cut it out. And what I'm doing, I'm planning to stick that single sheet to obviously the front uh, which will then give when I put the proper layer on over the top it will then hopefully just soften this up a little bit because it's quite solid um, obviously the the leverette itself is going to look quite nice on it but if it's got a little bit of a softer feel to it um, that would be a much better process for me so I'm just going to cut this out and then I'll get back to you okay so all cut out. Um, I've noticed actually having cut this out and given it a little tug, there is a little bit of a play in it. So um, obviously if you're gonna do a similar thing to this, don't worry if you haven't cut it long enough or if you've cut it too much, that's fine. Um, Cause you can obviously trim it up afterwards. Now I like to try and work in stages. Um, so I'm just gonna roll this up. Now I've rolled it so that if I get any glue on this bit, this is actually the part that's going to stick on here anyway, so I'm not exactly going to ruin it. Um, so I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Right, so with the glue itself, um, you're going to want to try and spray both sides. Um, so you're going to spray the, uh, the wood or the surface area that you're actually going to stick the material of the carpet to. Uh, then you're going to want to spray the back side of the carpet to, or the material that you're using. Um, so that you get a good stick. Now I'm going to start, I don't like to just do the whole thing, I like to do it in stages um, to make sure I don't get air bubbles and patches the diamond stuck properly and what have you. So I'm just going to start with this small patch here, um, probably about four or five inches wide or whatever, um, and I'm going to coat both the wood and the fabric. So I'm just going to stand up and move my chair out of the way. And then here we go. So making sure you spray it, making sure you cover it really, really well. Um, what you don't want to do is not get a patch with glue on. Uh, then I'm going to move on to my fabric too, and I'm going to make sure I cover about a similar, similar area that I've just covered on the wood to make sure it sticks well. It's going to give that second or two just to tack up a little. Uh, right, then I'm just going to roll it over, making sure I get it to where I want it to be. It's slightly lapped over and I'm just going to smooth it out. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, that's the first bit done. I'm going to roll that back that way now. I'm just going to peel it ever so slightly off 
where I've already stuck, just so I know that I get a good um, contact there as well with both bits. And I'm just going to go again with the same process, making sure I get the glue all over the patch that I want to cover, and then about the same amount across the material too. And then this time, I'm going to come around behind the material and I'm just going to slowly push it on, making sure it's nice and smooth till I get to where it meets. And I'm just going to smooth it out nicely. Okay, so I've got quite a bit more to go, so I'm just going to show you one more time and then I'm going to finish it quick and then I'll move on. So, I'm going to go up to the hole for the clip on the seat. Just going to do about the same amount on the fabric. Come behind, smooth it out nicely. Middle and then out to the sides. Middle and then out to the sides. And then just gently give it a rough flow making sure it's stuck on nicely. So I'm going to carry on. So I'm going to carry on and finish this remaining part and then you'll join me when I've got to try and deal with this hole in the middle. Okay, uh, that bit's done. Um, I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. Uh, so now I'm going to concentrate on just um, not quite cutting this patch out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slit pretty much through the middle um, and then I'm going to do each corner uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the camera down um, so you get a better view of what I'm actually doing. So as I said I'm working on this little patch here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke my scissors through I'm then going to just cut across a little bit uh, which should give me enough to get that to contact both bits I'm only just going to cut into the corners so that when I so I'm going to cut into both all the corners uh, and then what I'm going to do is flip her over and I'll show you the reverse side now what I've got is just about enough to stick the sides down obviously with some glue um, so I'm just gonna, but what you might notice, the same thing I've noticed here, is this, this tiny cut extra in there. That should be okay. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Right. So, now I need the adhesive glue. We I'm just gonna pop that over, making sure I get it nice and wet. Gonna give it a second to just dry over a little bit. It's gonna allow her to tack up a little bit. Um, so what we're gonna do is peel the sides up and round and just gently stick them down. Just making sure we've got a bit of pressure on there, obviously gently. Make sure you get it everywhere. So this is obviously not the layer. So if I'm not happy with this, I can just get rid of these bits, but to be fair, once that's dried, that's going to be okay. Uh, now I'm just going to flip it back over to check out the other side. That's not too bad of a finish. Um, I'd be quite happy with that if it was my top layer. Uh, but so what we're going to do now is stick the second layer on. Right, it's so the same sort of process this time, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave uh, the board on the leatherette that I want to uh, use to cover. Uh, this actually gives me the template of what I need to spray afterwards, so I'm going to show you another technique of doing it. So this time I'm going to cover the whole area that I wish to cover in the leatherette. I'm going to quickly move it to one side, I'm then going to cover the whole area which I would have left the line. You can see the line actually around the front here from when I was doing the last piece. Um, and then that way, I'll just be able to cover it over quick, and bust it straight down. So 
here we go. I'm going to move this out of the way just quickly. Let's put it to one side. Try and get it underneath without getting my fingers covered. Now it's left me the template. Making sure I'm covering all the area that I want to actually stick, which is, in this case, the whole thing. Come on. Nice. Right. This is our curing time, as it were. So I'm just going to plonk her on. And lay her flat. And press her out. Hopefully, when I flip this over, there won't be any patches that I've missed. Wow, that's fine. I'm just going to smooth that through. Nice couple of little bubbles there. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Lovely job. So, I'm happy with that. Uh, now I'm going to move on and we're going to do the edges. I like to just basically work with an edge at a time. Uh, now obviously this is quite a long panel. Um, so I'm going to start with this small section first. Now, just doing that and that may look okay, uh, but you've got, I don't know if you can see this, I'll move it around so you can see it. you've got this horrible big bit sticking out there. And what, we don't really want that as a finish. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to trim into the corner okay so that when i fold that over that's nice and tight so i know i can pull some of that out too so i can trim a little bit closer go again that's nice and how will that look that look pretty good so what i'm going to do is actually remove this whole piece from the corner uh, working in kind of like triangles um, it's, it works really well on round surfaces, like round corners and what have you. Um, so when I stick that on there, this then piece will stick down there and I get a, a tidier finish. So I'm just going to do the same down here. Uh, so I think I'm going to come in from this angle, I'm going to come in from this angle. do that and when I do that that's quite a tidy finish. I'm going to work with this edge first so I'm going to spray uh, a couple of inches on there and a couple of inches along the wood too. Leave it a couple of seconds to cure. And then fold her over and press her out. Okay, she's on nicely. Right, I'm gonna spin around and I'm gonna work on this edge. Okay, same as before. I've got my angles cut. I've checked that it's gonna be okay when I fold it up. I've also cut um, a small piece uh, out of here which would have blocked the handle. Uh, I don't want it to block the handle and I don't wanna to have to faff and cut around on this side. So this bit will literally just fold up and leave me space for the handle on the inside so I'm just going to spray along here a couple of inches a couple of inches all the way down so just a couple of inches on I'm going to move this little bit of fabric under here 
just because I don't want to squirt all over my table. And I'm running quite low on glue, so I'm going to have to get my other can out in a second and finish her off. So here we are. Oh, got enough to go along there. A little spurt. Lovely. So, start this end because um, I started spraying this end. Obviously, this end's had a bit of time to tack up a little bit. So, I'm just going to, using the palm of my hand, I'm able to give it a good press through this piece. And your thumb, and just press it in. Trying to keep tension on it all the time, really, so that you know it's going to stick. Okay, so I can actually go around in a mow, just trim all those edges up, make that look a bit tidier. So I'm going to move it around to this side, and I'm going to work on this side next. All right, so I'm now just going to finish up with these last three parts. So I've got this section here, this small section here, and then this long section along here. Now I've got all my edges trimmed up. Uh, what you might see here is that I've cut this section into three. Uh, it's so I can actually try and get a better shape once it's gone down um, and get a nice finish along the edge. Um, so, heat spray glue. Um, making sure again, I'm just covering the area a couple of inches. Um, I'm gonna move this along here too. Spray that piece there, allow it to get nice and tacky. Spray that bit. Pull this up and over. Pop that on. Make sure that's good. Happy days. Let's actually, let's drop that back a bit a second. Nice and tight. And then that piece. And then that piece. And then that piece. Ah. Let's move it out just to make sure the edges are good. And then we'll move on to the last edge is down that side. So last bit, just gonna work my way down this edge. There we go. Making sure to cover everywhere obviously again. And I'm just gonna leave that to set slightly. Drift it over and push it down. Keep it nice and tight. And then it should look quite nice. And lift it up. Got a lot of glue there and I didn't need it there. But that's fine, it will dry nicely. That's all stuck, happy with that. Let's just lift her up, take a look. Tidy, right, last bit. Just gonna do this little section here for the handle. All right, so I brought you in a bit closer for this bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try and pierce a hole this side, uh, roughly um, in the middle. Um, it doesn't matter if it's out a little bit, but I'm going to go roughly in the middle and then I'm going to now cut from the middle to each corner. Um, so hopefully I can get a nice finish. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start snipping away. Um, so I'm just going to work right into the corner and right into the corner on this piece too. Uh, sorry if my hands get in the way, um, but I'm just going to try and get this cut nicely and then a little bit of a lefty that's okay 
go right into the corner. And then the last bit, right into the corner on this bit too. And then I'm gonna flip her over and see what's happening. Okay, now I'm just gonna pop some glue all over that bit. I don't mind there being glue everywhere, uh, obviously on the board. Uh, it's going to also have, at some stage, uh, a backing on it. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to do this, uh, and then we'll take it out to the van, offer it up, and see what it looks like. So I've given this a few seconds to get tacky. I'm just going to pull each piece and stick it to the side. Stick it to the bottom. Stick it to the other side. And now stick it to the top. Very sticky. Gloves are probably a good idea, but that's okay. I don't mind getting dirty from my van. Right, now that should be okay. So I'm just gonna spin her up and have a look. And there she is. Um, she looks pretty nice. It's quite a nice little opening for the lever to remove, get the bed out. Um, but I found obviously if you get a few bits of glue that a Brillo pad, just an ordinary Brillo pad, and just give it a light scrub, you will actually remove the glue. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a wipe down. That looks quite nice actually. Nice wipe down, and then what I'm going to do now is dry her off, take her outside, offer her up in the van, and see what she looks like. So she's just going to go here. There she is, roughly in place, uh, with the lever in the middle. I have to say, that looks a lot better than what it did before. I don't know if you know these streamlined seats. Uh, they actually come with quite a narrow um, fascia board. Um, actually, yeah, you can see from here, that's kind of where it attaches. So that, for me, looks a lot better. So there we are, all finished in the van. I'm happy with that. Uh, it looks really smart. Um, it looks a lot better inside the van underneath the seats. You can't actually see fully under once the door's open, which is great. Uh, so if you like what you've seen and you found it useful, uh, please subscribe, like the video, follow the channel uh, and get notified of some videos coming up soon. Cheers. See you soon.